Got it. Okay. And is, is it uh, pretty common to, um, do you hear more from individuals with the, the tax liability or from their CPAs or is it kind of both or, or who usually gets a hold of you when there's a, a tax problem? So it's both. So with the clients that get referred to me and it, uh, you know, it would be because they either saw me present or mm-hmm. they know someone that did a cost segregation study and benefited it, benefited from it and it recommended that they do it for their real estate. Um, or, but I also do get contacted by CPAs because when they're doing their clients' taxes and they've done everything they could to reduce the tax liability and it still looks like their client owes and they own real estate or it's a tenant that owns improvements, then they'll call me uh, and talk to me about doing a cost segregation study for their client because they don't want to have that conversation with their client saying, well, you're going to have to write a check to the IRS. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You're like a secret weapon in their back pocket that they can, <laughs> they can pull out. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so yeah, if you're watching this, if uh, you might have a tax liability, you know, for next year or whatever year, um, or if you're a CPA uh, that have, has a client who might have a need, or if you're a broker, uh, Geraldine is available. Her information is up uh, on the screen right now. Mm-hmm. So jot that down, uh, shoot her a call, give her an email, uh, and uh, she's happy to connect with you and see how she can help. Um, what? Um, so what parting advice do you have? I- anyone watching the show right now, what's uh, any, any parting advice for them? So... The advice I would give is to not think that it may not, is to make the assumption that it may not work with them. A lot of people that I come across think that they have to have a property, uh, you know, that's large enough to justify a cost segregation study. So they feel like they must have a real, you know, have purchased a building for millions of dollars. And that's not the case. We say, you know, we look at properties, uh, you know, that are, you know, around 250,000. And we also have clients that have a portfolio of properties where they have bought out of state and they purchase these properties, let's say around a hundred thousand. So, mm-hmm. you know, so I prove it doesn't hurt to just take a look at the numbers. So, and for example, let's say somebody has a $50,000 tax liability, right? Mm-hmm. So nothing, I, you know, it's best to just check and see what the numbers look like because, you know, with their property, if they were able to save 50,000, you know, again, it goes back to what we talked about earlier. Would you rather pay a minimal fee so that you don't have to pay the IRS 50000 So the advice I would give is don't think that they have property that may be too small to take a look at. You never know. That makes sense. Okay, so no property too small. There's no cost to reach out and get good information. Right. Very good. 